Halo guys, hari ini kita mencoba membuat video tentang 10 perbedaan di Indonesia atau Jakarta dengan London UK ya. Uh, this is a video about the 10 major differences between Jakarta Indonesia and London UK. Oke, okay. number one Orang Indonesia itu kalau makan pakai tangan. Kalau di orang Inggris itu tidak pakai tangan, malah mereka pakai sendok atau garpu. Yeah, uh, one of the major differences um, is that Indonesian people uh, tend to eat with their hands a lot, um, tr traditionally, um, and even if they eat with cutlery, it's normally a spoon and a fork. Whereas in the UK, uh, people tend to eat with a knife and a fork. So, it's the major difference. Iya, yeah. number two. Kalau kita di Indonesia, kalau di rumah kan kita nggak pakai sandal ya. Tapi buat mereka itu biasa-biasa aja. Mereka pakai sandal itu tidak masalah karena di sini dingin ya. Jadi uh, mereka itu tuh mau menutupin kakinya supaya tidak dingin dengan pakai kaos kaki. Begitulah. Yeah, um, generally speaking, in Indonesia people tend to uh, wear uh, don't wear shoes inside the house. Um, in the UK, people don't wear shoes either, uh, but you tend to have house slippers, so uh, sliders or flip-flops you tend to wear inside the house, generally. Um, yeah. Number three, kalau di sini orang tuh pa biasanya pakai mobil ya. Uh, ada sih motorcycle atau sepeda motor, cuman tidak beberapa hanya orang yang hobi aja yang pakai begitu. Um, in the UK, you rarely ever see people using uh, motorcycles or scooters as their main mode of transportation. Uh, generally speaking, um, you know, people will be driving cars or taking public transport, the train or a bus. Uh, but in Indonesia, um, there is many, 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 many motorcycles and scooters. Um, and you see people, you know, sometimes whole families um, going from like the supermarket and stuff with their uh, motorcycle. I think, you know, if anyone coming to the UK for the first time from Indonesia, um, you know, that's going to be overwhelmingly obvious difference that they would vis visibly be able to see. Um, for me, when I first went to Indonesia, I was quite shocked at the amount of motorcycles uh, because, you know, that uh, there's like so many. Um, but you know that's just the culture. So yeah, that's a that's a, a, a big difference that anyone can actually see. Yeah. Okay, number empat itu adalah masalah cuaca. Kalau di sini cuacanya itu begitu dingin sekali. Oke, okay? jadi setiap orang tuh biasa pakai satu, dua, tiga sekali pakai uh, baju. Nah nanti dilapis lagi atau berapa kali? Karena di sini benar-benar dingin. Pertama kali saya uh, turun di bandara yang Hedward ya, uh, bandara Hedward itu uh, saya cuma pakai satu dalam dan jaket dan selebihnya aku nggak bawa apa-apa karena saya terasa itu nggak bakal dingin. Ternyata dingin banget. Untungnya mertua saya bawa satu jaket dari rumah dan ya cukup membantu. Yeah, uh, so obviously the weather is a major difference between Jakarta and London. Um, obviously, Jakarta being in a in a tropical country, um, it rains a lot, um, but the weather is always good enough for you to be wearing shorts and t-shirt, whereas London is a temperate climate. So you're gonna have winter, uh, you're gonna have spring, you're gonna have summer, you're gonna have autumn, and- No. You know, yeah, yeah. up north it, it, yeah. it snows. Not London so much, but in the winter it gets reasonably cold. Yeah. Um, so obviously, you know, you got to wear uh, different things depending on on the weather. Whereas in Indonesia, generally speaking, you wear the same thing: shorts and t-shirts. Generally, okay, because even if it's raining, it's still hot. So um, yeah, that's a that's a big difference. Um, but both countries rain a lot anyway. <laughs> So, yeah. Oke, okay, di nomor 5 itu adalah friendly people. Oh, ini untuk orang yang uh, bersahabat atau friendly ya gitu ya. Kalau saya jumpai di sini orang itu 
ya say hello aja nggak terlalu seperti hai hey hey say hello ini gitu gitu nggak banyak ngomong jadi kalau yang selama saya di sini setahu saya mereka itu ya biasa aja uh, kalaupun berpapasan kadang mereka nggak lihat ya bodoh amat gitulah kalau di Indonesia itu friendly banget karena kalau misalnya kayak orang-orang boleh datang misalnya di Jakarta atau di Bali atau apa kita selalu welcome ke mereka Hi Mister how are you nice to meet you begitu kan ya begitulah perbedaan antara orang kita dengan orang sini Yeah, um, this one is a bit more specific to London uh, rather than the whole of the UK. Uh, but generally speaking, um, Londoners tend to be um, not as friendly, um, a bit more sort of reserved um, when it comes to speaking to new people. Um, they're polite, uh, but they're just not that friendly really. Um, whereas in Indonesia, in Jakarta, um, what happens usually is, you know, even if they don't know you, they'll still smile at you and, you know, they'll still say, how are you? Um, and generally speaking, you'll find that they're a lot more friendly. Okay, di nomor 6, di nomor 6 itu ada cost of living. Jadi kalau di sini harganya itu benar-benar fantastic. Coba kalau kita di, misalnya orang-orang uh, yang mau orang Indonesia, misalnya holiday dia mau pergi ke Airbnb atau segala macam itu benar-benar mahal. Kalau di Indonesia bisa masih bisa murah berapa ya? Hmm. Ya, kalau di situ bisa masih murah, oh, misalnya sekitar sejuta atau apa kalau di sini betul-betul mahal sekali. Yeah, so the cost of living in Indonesia uh, and in Jakarta is substantially lower than it is in London. London is a lot more expensive. Um, if anyone has ever traveled to Jakarta, they'll understand that you know your rent is going to be lower. Uh, your date, your groceries, um, you know, the, the food that you're eating, you buy from the supermarket is going to be substantially cheaper. Um, and on top of that, the mode, uh, the, the transportation uh, is cheaper. You know, uh, just taking a taxi is pretty much unaffordable. Um, you know, you're not going to take a black cab every day in England unless you've got loads of money. Um, whereas when I used to live in Jakarta, um, grabs, uh, you know, which is like their equivalent of Uber, um, you know, it's not going to cost you that much money, really. It's going to cost you like, you know, three, four pounds maximum. Uh, so, you know, that's a big difference. Uh, the cost of living is a lot lower in Jakarta than it is in London. Yeah. Number two, itu adalah pollution. Mm. Di sini tuh polusinya nggak ada, guys. Benar-benar. Mereka tuh benar-benar bersih. Kalau misalnya untuk sampah, mereka uh, kayak di rumah kita ini ya, dia tuh ada tiga tempat sampah. Uh, dia tuh setiap hari apa aja sayang hari uh, kalau nggak salah Kamis tiga kali seminggu mereka itu datang bersihkan ambil uh, punya kita kotoran itu dibuang ba- uh, bagian truk ya coba kalau kita di Indonesia kita lihat di seliling Jakarta itu banyak banget sampah berserakan ya kan guys ya jadi kalau di sini tuh benar-benar polusinya bagus dan misalnya kalau kita di kampung-kampung kita kan selalu bakar gitu ya sampah dibakar seperti kita di waktu kita pernah tinggal kan hmm. dibakar sampahnya di depan rumah dan asapnya itu benar-benar bau misalnya kita jemur kain itu jadinya kena baju bau kan jadi bau asap gitu yeah so um, when it comes to pollution um, London have have got the congestion charge so um, cars have to pay um, a daily rate of around 11 pounds um, to just drive into the city um, so because of that you find that there's less cars uh, within that zone so the pollution is substantially less not saying that there's no pollution whatsoever but because there is but because they don't have that in Jakarta and they've got so many motorcycles and cars um, the air quality in Jakarta is absolutely terrible like people have to walk around with masks um, whereas people don't really do that in England uh, or in the UK in London um, the pollution is not really that bad um, in terms of air pollution um, don't go swimming in the Thames though <laughs> okay. di number 8 itu adalah toilet 
Jadi kalau toilet di sini mereka tuh nggak pakai keran seperti kita di Indonesia. Kalau habis pipis kan kita ada kerannya ya untuk membersihkan uh, misalnya kotoran kita atau apa gitu kan. Tapi di sini tuh mereka pakai tisu guys. Jadi saya tuh kebiasaan yang pakai yang kayak keran-keran gitu jadi merasa uh, sedikit berbeda tapi tidak apa-apa jadi kebiasaan kok. Um, in Indonesia. Uh, they've got, I don't know what they call it, um, I just call it the bum gun, but it's basically a toilet hose um, that they use. Um, that's a big difference uh, in the UK, uh, we don't have that. Uh, you just use normal to- toilet paper, I think. Um, for anyone who goes to Indonesia or Jakarta for the first time, um, it's a bit of a culture shock uh, because okay. some toilets, uh, they don't actually have uh, toilet paper whatsoever. Um, whereas you know um, in the UK people only use toilet paper so yeah bit awkward <laughs> yeah, if, if you didn't know that from before okay the number 9 itu adalah formal for elders yeah, yeah. So, di sini kalau misalnya kita orang tua ya, kita tuh paling pang- panggil oh, kita punya sopan santun seperti Hai, Namboru, kayak orang Batak, Hai, Nantula, atau orang Sunda, Hai, Teteh, atau orang Jawa, Hai, Mbak. Tapi di sini saya shock, shock, bener-bener shock karena orang seumuran saya misalnya manggil mertua, dia tuh panggil nama, guys. Dan Bukan hanya saya, tapi orang-orang lain misalnya kayak orang kita muda seperti ini Seperti nama mertua saya disebut, begitu kan rasanya gimana Tapi itu bagi mereka biasa saja Yeah, uh, one of the major differences um, is in regards to the way people address their elders So, um, a lot of the times in in Indonesia, um, as a sign of respect, you would always say ibu Or you would always say yeah. Bapa. Uh, Bapa or something like this yeah. um, where, Even though we respect our elders in London as well <laughs> um, Generally speaking you won't Unless you're related to them mm-hmm. uh, You won't refer to someone older than you yeah. um, By anything other than their first name Even in, in the job that you're working with uh, you, you know, I think that's over time uh, Things have changed People have become less formal in, in regards to how they address each other Back in the days it, it probably used to be a bit more like Indonesia Nomor 10 yaitu tentang makanan. Di Inggris saya tidak pernah menemui makanan yang seperti di warung yang siap saji yang uh, misalnya kita makan satu piring hanya sekitar 15.000 atau paling mahal itu 20.000 ya. Kalau di sini itu benar-benar kalau kamu tidak memasak ya kamu pergi ke restoran ya begitulah. Uh, there isn't street food as much as there is in Jakarta. Um, you can find street food probably only like in places like Camden uh, or other places in central London uh, but generally pe- people don't eat street food whereas uh, in Jakarta is a very big thing so yeah okay um, well that's it uh, I hope you enjoyed our video uh, which was the 10 major differences between Jakarta and London uh, and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching Bye-bye. bye bye